Thank you so much for your time, sir. Once again, thank you so, so very much. Uh, you took our time for us. You spoke to us today and there was so much to learn. There are so many success stories to tell everybody from across Pakistan that if we start now, we'll probably run out of time. However, we cannot miss Mr. Monis Rahman. He is an internet entrepreneur and an investor. He's got various ventures. He's the co-founder of Rosie.pk, Finja, and Dukan. His ventures span across job classifieds, fintech, and as well as e-commerce. Mr. Rahman has been listed amongst the top 20 entrepreneurs of the 21st century several times. So let's watch what his accomplishments are on our screen. Monis is one of Pakistan's internet pioneers. Having moved back in 2003 to launch Naseeb.com, an online Muslim social network. He went on to found Rosie.pk, which is today Pakistan's largest employment platform and became the first local startup to raise venture funding in 2008. Rosie launched Rosegar.pk during COVID to help get blue collar workers back into jobs. The Rosegar platform, in its early pilot phase, has helped thousands of barely educated workers find jobs on their recently acquired smartphones. In 2015, he co-founded Finja, where he serves as chairman. Finja created Pakistan's first smartphone mobile wallet called SimSim and quickly pivoted into digital lending. Finja became the country's first venture-funded fintech in 2015 and recently closed $10 million Series A1 with participation from Habib Bank. Finja has digitally dispersed over 50,000 loans to micro, small and medium enterprises with a less than 1% default rate. He most recently launched Dukan.pk during COVID which lets anyone with a smartphone sell online within seconds, market their goods and get digital credit based on their sales data within the app's mobile wallet. Ladies and gentlemen, Monis Rahman. Mr. Monis Rahman. Hello there. Hello, thank you. Thank you for being here today, sir. And it's thank you pleasure. for all that you do. It's a pleasure. I cannot wait to hear about it. The stage is all yours. Uh, thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, Thank you so much. Uh, very exciting time to be here. It's a kind of a pivotal moment in the history of the country. So going from a time when there are 1.8 million internet users to now where there are about 110 million internet users, 50 million of whom have joined in the last five years has been transformational. At the same time, we've seen a lot of interest from investors, which has uh, really transformed the landscape. I remember when we raised funding for Rosie in 2008, it was the first institutional investment round from um, international VCs. It was very tough to raise that funding round. We had to sell the Pakistan story much more than the story of what we were doing with our jobs business. And since then, a uh, few years after that, there were no more funding rounds. Uh, two, three years later, and they started accelerating. Last year during COVID, we saw 28 deals, maybe 50, 60 deals so far this year. A quarter of a billion dollars has been invested. This whole ecosystem has gotten hot. Valuations are increasing. Smart people are moving in. And we saw growth in Rosie. We've helped over a million people into jobs. Uh, 85,000 employers, uh, a lot of whom you've heard of and most whom you have not heard of, use our platform to hire. Uh, it's been exhilarating. Finja was co-founded with my fantastic co-founders. Uh, and we launched on the back of a microfinance bank, used their license as, uh, as a super agent and found a way to launch Pakistan's first smartphone-based mobile wallet when the other large wallet players were working on USSD. So we worked out a way to do KYC on the phone and we're very excited that we've launched a smartphone-based wallet. But very quickly thereafter, we figured out that with our very small investment round of around a million dollars and having a smartphone wallet, we were really at a disadvantage compared to the telcos who had a lot more money, a lot more users. So we did a pivot, a very quick pivot into the lending space. And we became excited by the MSMEs. And we began to lend to the small Kriana stores and the supply chains. And now Finja has processed over uh, 50,000 loans that are completely unsecured based on scoring information, based on data. And uh, if you look at the total SME loans given in the country, the data from State Bank of Pakistan, already at our early stages, about 8% of all SME loans by number have been given by Finja, a fintech startup that's very new into this ecosystem. And our default rate is less than 1%, about 0.6% versus about 18.4% for the other loans that are being handed by the banks, etc. And now with Dukan, 
It's been about four or five months. We've clocked about 120,000 shops that have created stores online on this new platform. And the idea of Dukan is basically to allow anybody with a smartphone sell anything they want instantly in under a minute. You upload your pictures, we take care of all of the payment gateways, we take care of the delivery through partnerships with the ecosystem. And as people sell through this platform, it solves another problem. As Finja is scaling MSME loans and helping these small organizations grow larger by giving them credit, one of the bottlenecks is how do you get the data? How do you help get anybody who sells online to be eligible for credit? Because the banks aren't stepping in at the rate that they need to. So this has been an interesting journey. Along the way with Rosie, we found out that we could finally now onboard blue collar workers who were previously completely excluded and who weren't important to anybody, who are barely educated, but they're smart enough to own a smartphone, they're smart enough to use WhatsApp, and they're smart enough to use Facebook. But we haven't built any applications for them. And through this Rosegar platform that we launched, we have managed to get thousands of people into jobs who are barely able to read and write, but can operate their smartphones. My whole journey until now and where I'm going and what excites me about this ecosystem, being a dinosaur, being probably one of the first startups in the country to ever raise VC investment and being at the point we are, what excites me and what is my life goal now, my journey for everything I'm doing is connecting technology with financial services and e-commerce. And I think this combination is a game changer for the country of these 110 million internet users, 50, 60 million of them are at the bottom of the pyramid. These are people we previously didn't think of as actually a segment to sell to or to make applications to. Well, they're now online. We can get them into jobs. We can help them sell. We can give them credit to grow. And this is how we transform this country. It's a massive market at the bottom of the pyramid. And we're seeing very good signs, early signs. A lot of the startups you've heard earlier today, a lot of the investors who've entered the country. Uh, they have seen this play out. We are seeing it firsthand with our own eyes that we are here at probably the most exciting time in the digital history of the country. This is it. The time is now. And this is a time to transform the country and the people and the population and create opportunity for people we were never able to create opportunity for before. Thank you very much.